Hi Leos, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone, so this is going to be for Cancer season. Let's see what's going on with you Leo. So uh, I can tell you right now, this is probably going to have to do a lot with Twin Flames. I just seen the 1111 card to say that, Four of Wands, because Cancer and Leo, I don't know what it is with you do. <laughs> Very strong um, connections, unions. Um, just very dominantly. I don't know if it's because I just have a lot of cancer and Leo pretty much makes up my chart, right? And I'm on the twin flame journey, right? But I'm not, I don't even care about that. Really, I've just surrendered it because I'm like, you know what? If I am with my twin currently and he's just so unawakened, like I'm moving on the way, like seriously, because this spiritual journey is far more important. My mission mark is far more important. So I finally have released it. And I'm calling in true love, and I know how I deserve and desire to be treated, and that, you know, that that's what I've called in. So anyway, strong Leo placement. I know I'm going to be coming out in this, in this reading very strongly. If you have Leo placements, you're going to be, but you know what, whatever brought you in, even if it was just the title, let's get into this. All right, so I felt guided to the Mystic um, Monday Tarot. Let's see. King of Swords energy, look at that. Three of Cups at the bottom. So this is what's coming. This is very strong. I felt to stop and show you. So somebody is strategizing, wanting union. That That is what's going on here. That's the truth. Ace of Swords is um, confirmation from divine that I'm speaking the truth, but also that communication is coming in for you. Let's see nine of pentacles beautiful so that's that minor Ooh, nine of cups look at this two nines this means that a cycle is definitely coming to close i've seen 202 on the clock as i say that but nine of pentacles is this beautiful look at even with the the beautiful um peasant or what was it oh my gosh i can't even think of that um Anyways, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting distracted. Like, love is struck is what I'm feeling here. This Nine of Pentacles energy is that single independent energy where you know how beautiful you are. You know what you deserve and desire. You know, it's um, it's like the Minor Empress card. It's also like wish fulfillment coming in. You're just in this beautiful, dreamy energy. Eight of Pentacles, look, now there's the King of Wands. Wow, you are definitely getting attention here. Um, <laughs> wow, yes, look, a new beginning, but this is also a spiritual ascension. The full card represents a higher level of ascension. And that's what I feel happened when, when you triggered this, this self-love or somebody realized they got to love themselves. Hold on, let me get this that falls. So it was the hanged woman. I just put this reversed. I just realized too. So I don't know. I always pay attention to those things. So maybe you've already released something. I feel like you have, whether it was just energetically or not, I feel you already have. They're showing four of once again. See, I put it and it came right back out. There's definitely some sort of union celebration coming together. Wow, there's the victory card, six of wands. This victory is so interesting, too. Wow, oh my gosh, look what just happened. I'm going to pay attention to all of this because everything happens for a reason. So they're showing the seven of cups. You could have been in illusions before or there's going to be like illusions around you, multiple options. You have to know that the devil is going to try to come in and block this beautiful union. You've got to know that, right? Five of wands. So there's going to be chaos, conflict. There's going to be things coming back from the past, things trying to get you to second guess. I even noticed be mindful of your dreams, right? Like I had a vision of something in my dream and for a moment I was like, wow, I haven't thought about this individual in forever. And it was someone that I used to think that I was in love with. And I had to tell myself like, no, I was in love with just the idea of them. Like it wasn't even really love. It's not like what I'm feeling now. So I had to tell myself like, nice try devil. <laughs> so be mindful, you know, if you're not asking for protection, even if you are, you can still have this devil get in. And for a lot of you, that's why you may have been in illusions and deal with these false flames because a lot of times why you fall for false flames i'm going to tell you right now what it is is because you know especially when you're extremely spiritual you're starting to awaken you don't want to admit you don't want to be like no there's no way i was wrong about this this has got to be my twin because 
you know, um, they're mirroring me, they're acting like me. You do not realize the lengths that the devil will go to. You do not realize that he will literally send in devil agents that can get into your mind. That can literally, they can siphon the energy, they can scry, they can get in there. And they can mess with your dream, in your dream state and replace the image of your divine with somebody else. And they're so connected with you. They know how to like get into your thoughts how to mimic your energy how to do so be mindful of that i really think that your perception spell work illusions around your person was altered for a lot of you and that's why you could be tied up in these entanglements with these false twins right because the devil wants you to believe your twin is someone that's not so yeah there's definitely a lot of chaos and conflict here look i go right to the magician so i'm feeling like there was definitely like some black magic that was done right so as I was getting ready to get to your final card here, I just dropped the drop the deck, right? They're showing the two of pentacles on the bottom, which is the overall energy, like that infinity symbol, but there's a choice here. But then as I dropped it, look, eight of swords and seven of swords was showing. See, something has been keeping you trapped and stuck, right? It's keeping you stuck from the seven of pentacles, right? It's trying to mess with divine timing, trying, you know, trying to delay and further make you feel trapped and stuck and miss what's coming in for you. The Seven of Swords, she's holding a dagger behind her back. Somebody is definitely betraying or doing something. Oh, yeah, look, the devil underneath there with the Ten of Swords. This devil has been trying to keep you in a very painful situation. And, you know, it's interesting. I just did a reading earlier about a betrayal from a family member um or a lover or maybe all of them because the devil can very much get in your family members can get in your children too and mess with you and things like that so you might want to take a look at that reading it should be down below pretty close to this one so yeah there's definitely been some things blocking you, Oof, you better believe it all right let's go ahead and get one more for the outcome and then we'll throw a clarifier out on each let's see for leo Wow, three of swords. So that's the outcome. So I feel that this betrayal has already been done. Okay. Um, well, maybe it's getting exposed to you. It's causing a loss, but you know what? It's breaking your heart to save your soul. You need to know that. Okay. You're not where you're, um, this needs to happen here because you have an abundant new beginning. You're actually being elevated. You see, like I was saying in the six of wands, it's probably why I was guided to this deck today. The six of wands, it looks like she's falling, right? She looks like she's free falling, but the six of wands is a card of admirization and rising up. But why is she falling? Because you know what? She finally released control. Sometimes you have to let things be completely cleared out to set you free from the devil. Sometimes it looks like you have to be let go. You literally have to let go and appear as though you're falling, but you know what? The divine is going to catch you. So be open to that, okay? Because, yeah, look, there's your divine lover. There it is. See? That's what you got to let go. Release control, right? All right, let's get a clarifier out on each. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords for Leo. Five of Swords. See, there's been a lot of chaos and conflict and battling surrounding you. Could be within your mind, too. It could be going back and forth within your mind. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I let go? Should I, go? Should I not? What is all of this? Or there's a lot of things that are going on around you causing this chaos. That's why I should take a look at the reading. I put a lot of my personal situations out in that one. Or I'm telling you a lot about like specific things that my children and lover were doing just to keep me in a form of chaos in that reading. So that it says betrayals, the first um, opening. I'm wearing the same shirt too. <laughs> so you still don't find it. All right. Uh, what's this nine of pentacles? Three of wands. So see, there's something just off at the distance, right? You, they want you in this energy. You know, they want you to be in this independent energy where you're looking off at the distance, right? You're keeping your options open. I'm going to keep three options open, right? They want you to be in hermits, okay? Because you might be focusing on the wrong thing. They want you in this hermit energy, so spend some time alone while you make your decisions. She kind of looks like she's got three options there. I'm getting something with threes here. And then eight of cups. See, you're definitely walking away. But what's interesting is she's walking away, but she's facing all of those cups. So be careful of illusions. Don't go back to past doorways and things like that. You're going down a new path, right? You're forging a new path. You're not going backwards, right? So be careful of anything that comes back from the past. 
Queen of Wands. You're taking action, charge, and control of your life. This is very beautiful. You've done a lot of work here. Let's clarify the King of Wands. Ace of Wands. There's a passionate beginning here. There's another three. You could be seeing repeating threes. Sorry, when my kids get loud. <laughs> I have to do that. So you could be, be seeing repeating threes. This is a confirmation that there are people that definitely want to come together, work with you, build with you. This could be your soul family. Look, we've got this Queen of Wands energy. You're going to be in this beautiful energy of having so much love surrounding you and love to give, right? So, and as you raise your vibration and frequency, you call in your soul family and your soul friends, things like that, new lovers. It's very beautiful. Clarify the full card for Leo. Wow, damn. One I just I thought it's a one four four, but it's a ten four ten forty four. It's an angel number, but I was seeing one four four. You guys could definitely be chosen, right? Part of the one four four. That might be why you have such a battle going on in this lifetime, right? You're a very powerful person. Look at this, devil and seven of swords. I told you there's somebody that has straight up been deceiving you, lying to you. You're going to be getting the realization of that because that fool card represents a new beginning, a higher level of ascension, and the divine is definitely revealing something to you, and it's actually setting you free because maybe you've been holding on to this person, refusing to let go of them, but when you realize that they were a devil blocking you, lying to you, deceiving you, it's going to allow you to set yourself free. Maybe some of you already have because this is coming up in my past position, the recent past, but it's the influence of now. So for some of you, you're going to be realizing this, okay? But see, hanged woman, the, uh, she's reversed. Yeah, there's that five of wands back out. You're realizing that this individual, this person was very much keeping you constricted. Clarify this four of wands. Maybe you're learning how to temperature energy, being in control. Yes, there's a healing taking place here. It's also a fulfillment on top of the on top of the four of wands with the star. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Clarify the six of wands, Leo. Ten of Swords. Yep, look at this. Victory over this ending. Ten of Swords. You definitely have victory. It may not seem that way because you may have to go down a little bit, but sometimes you're going down, but you don't realize that you're going to be caught. You're going to come up faster than ever. So create boundaries, right? Seven of Wands. You're definitely creating boundaries. Wow. And strategy. See, people are trying to strategize, trying to figure out how to mess with you. But look at you bending that sword. You're using the light against them. You're not fighting in the way that you used to. You're actually using all of their words, their battle, their things, and you're transforming it. You're alchemizing. This is what is so beautiful. You're not fighting fire with fire. You're taking that fire and you are just oh my gosh like you're flipping it to passion is what you're doing so definitely whatever you're doing keep flipping keep alchemizing keep turning all of that hate and all of that into love that that's how you level up you level up through love wow this is so powerful oh my gosh so it may not look that way because five of pentacles is here right but ugh. You're losing something. You're letting go of whatever illusions the devil painted, and now you're going to be getting true. So Ten of Wands, you're letting go of that very burdensome cycle situation. It comes down to a decision here. So that's the overall. There's some sort of movement here. And yeah, look, Knight of Cups came out with the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. So you're going to be getting, look, love and money. You're going to be getting, like, a new foundation, new offer of love. And that chariot, look at how free she is, but how elevated she is. I feel that, you know, after she falls here, she gets caught. <laughs> Very beautiful. I just seen 1344 as well. Look, temperance, they had me flip too. So keep alchemizing that energy. All right, Leo, that was the reading. I'm sending love and light to all of you. Definitely feel free to watch whatever you feel guided to. Bye, guys. Oh, definitely subscribe if you have not, right? Because this is my new channel, so helps my channel grow, right? Especially liking the video claims the energy, right? Does uh, energy exchange too. So I feel your energy, right? And you're going to be coming out more in my readings. Know that. Bye, guys.